Incorporated. Bad, immoral, and wrong. This is the Modern Eater Show. Piping hot and delicious. The Modern Eater. Food, 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 food. Come and get it. And now your hosts, Greg Hollenbeck, Jay Parker, and Brian Freeman. That is pretty cool. What a great opening shot. I know. The Modern Eater Show, live from Studio Kitchen, Colorado, or we'll call it tonight, Dane's Kitchen, Chef Dane's Kitchen, in the house tonight on the Modern Eater Show. We're going to have some great food. It's going to be a great show tonight. Look at that chocolate mousse. I know. I want that job, to just sit there and eat that. I want to just eat all of Chef Dane's food. It's going to be great. I've looked over his menu. Sit back, relax. The Modern Eater Show from Studio Kitchen, Colorado, tonight, as we continue into January, just Full barreling into spring. And there's so oh. much on my mind. I you know it's spring, right? But it's, you know, what's in town, right? You know, it's every year, stock, stock show. show. Stock show. Stock show. Good time of year. Go down there. Check out the rodeo. Eat some of the outdoor food. What am I doing right now online? What are you? I'm going to Facebook.com, and I'm loading up the Modern Eater What am I doing? I'm going to go to www.themoderneater.com and click the link there to watch the show. Uh, whatever you do, share it. That's what I <laughs> go, You're go sharing ahead. is caring. Sharing yeah, is caring. Absolutely. <laughs> Great show tonight. We've got the first hour, Chef Dane's, Dane's Kitchen. And uh, Dane will be with us as uh, well as Hannah. Chef CDK Hannah. Luxury Catering. I like it. I was looking at it. And uh, it, it, first of all, do you like to cook? You know I love to cook, man. I like to cook, too. Right? Yep. <laughs> um, Richie? Uh, Richie is. He's, he's on the other side of that spectrum. <laughs> Not so much. to eat. Richie like likes to, to do takeout. <laughs> Chef Dane's perfect for you because elevated cooking, right? Yeah. Come to your house. Cook for you. Cook for a dinner party. Oh, wow. Know. Uh, maybe just cook for Little Rich. That would be kind of cool. Just come over. Who's eating? Just Little just Rich. Me. Just, uh, <laughs> just me. I can see that happen. But uh, elevated cuisine cooked um, at your place, right? Jay, would you do that? Uh, or would you cook? No, I mean, I, I, I would bring him over, like on a personal thing, almost like to cheat and, and get a, a test or a uh, an education yeah. out of it, and then I, and then I would cook myself for the dinner party. That's what I would do. Jay, a single guy like you, I think what you use is him for your backup. He makes you look good. You have a hot date. You have. No, I can't Chef have, Dane, I can't, come over. Have you seen? Make the food, and then all of a sudden Jay lays it out. No, because like, it's impossible. Listen, Jay to have man. a hot date. Come on. <laughs> listen, man. First, first of all, and this is the truth. Like Chef Dane is is too attractive to have in my home with anybody else I'm working on. You know, I don't need that kind of stress. That you know what I mean? You. Where it's like Suddenly when you're invisible. When Chef leaves, the, my my date leaves with him coincidentally at the same time, and then everything's awkward. I, I stopped payment on the credit card, yeah, you, you know. You get a bill. You still get a <laughs> yeah, bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. That's what I'm saying. My card got stolen. You lost your appetite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Point. I'm allergic to tortellini. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you're, you're not uh, wrong, right? Okay, so that's why you got to get full value. Go to themoderneater.com. Watch this stream, and he's just cooking away, cooking up a storm in the kitchen. Next hour, it's kind of booth-centric. And uh, what we're looking at, Charlie Gottenkinney. And Jake Conover from Brews Beers, those gents are in the house. They just opened up yes. a new location. Yes, we're going to yeah. talk about that. On Colfax and York. York. Yep. And he's a new brewer. And new brewer as well. Yeah, yeah they have a lot going on. We'll catch yep. up with uh, those gents as well as 730, Zach Nichols from Cellar West Artesian Ales. He's here as well. And then booze in the news, all the booze news you can use. Eric and Austin are here from Balmer. Balmer. Peak Balmer. Distillery. Balmer. Have you seen, it's Balmer in, Peak. You know where it is, right? Lakewood? Yep. Yeah. Up in Green Mountain. You've been, Richie. That's where I graduated high school. Oh, is it really? About 100 years ago. Yeah. Oh, oh not at the that. distillery? No. <laughs> well, back then, it could have been. <laughs> I could see Actually, that. I had a full-ride scholarship to, uh, what was that uh, dry-out place? Uh, never mind, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, Red Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like to make a dish lobster tortellini. But how, maybe this is going on deaf ears. Rich is like, oh, cool, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Glad you like doing it. So I, as I make the pasta and I put together and I put all this delicious tortle, or, uh, lobster that I, that I make into the pasta, I think only about two out of five survive, if that. Oh, dude, Once really, it hits the water, all bets oh. are off. 
I got to learn. Well, well that was yeah. lobster soup. Well, we actually, yeah, <laughs> but it's overcooking it to the moment it's you overcook waste. it, it opens it's up. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong. So I can't wait to uh, talk to Chef Dane about that. Richie, one thing that we've been talking about, especially this week, and we're seeing this year as far as businesses and marketing goes, mm-hmm. man, it's an interesting thing. And the thoughts that you have. Um, you know, a lot of people know you from the Modern Eater, but also Rockalitas. It's kind of weird to say it that way. You know, this audience knows you from the Modern Eater, <laughs> yeah. but there's a whole lot other audience that just knows you from Rockalitas mm-hmm. tortillas. Mm-hmm. Um, take you know, take twenty seconds to talk about Rockalitas, which is a weird thing. Well, well, okay, Rockalitas tortillas. Uh, right now, Colorado's oldest tortilla manufacturer, but we're not resting on our laurels. We're all about innovation, about becoming hyper-local, about really selling inspiration in every box. So I want to get chefs that they may they may just start to, to get in that thing of where they're phoning it in, and then they find out all that we do on a simple corn tortilla, and they're like, oh my, I, I've got to step up my game. And so I want to inspire people as well. Mm-hmm. So that's what we do. So over the years, right, with your brand, has it always just been a hit brand that's sold out? You you can't make <laughs> enough chips and, and uh, tortillas for folks? That's almost comical because, no, not until we learned marketing and, and implemented and executed marketing did any of it matter because we could have been doing all this cool stuff and nobody knows. And so, you know, that's really why I got involved here is to create a marketing vehicle for these small food companies, and and we're small, our small local companies, for them to start learning about sales and marketing and positioning and advertising. Because most of them think, well, sales and marketing is the same thing. And it it has nothing, almost, uh, they're opposite ends of it. Yeah. Basically, your marketing is what makes the phone ring. Sales answers the phone. That's it. Go over that again, because I thought that was hilarious when you talk about uh, folks, you had a partner once, right, in the supplement business, and you were the guy that was always out on the street, right? And what did your partner do? Yeah, it just he, cracks he me up. He was like, man, you're out, uh, you know, going all over the place, and I'm here answering the phone. He sat there and, you know, he and stared and, at a phone all day, thinking yeah, it would yeah. ring, right? You've, and, you know, that's the thing is you've got to spend, you've got to allocate that money in your operating budget. Trust me. Pets, Wait, hold pet, on. You're trying to tell people that, it, especially in, in food industry, food service, that you should take an allocated amount of your money and budget it to marketing? If you what? want to succeed, absolutely. How do you do that consistently, though, Rick? You know, you've just got to, well, these are part of the things that we've put here. For example, when we did this, so when I left the, in the supplement business, and I was in it about five years, just long enough to lose everything that I had and a little more. And coming but wait, back, he was answering the phones. <laughs> but, but, and so we started doing just a little bit of marketing, and, we, and also we realized we don't even have to be great because no one else is doing any marketing whatsoever. And so what is marketing? Marketing is claiming your position, letting people know what to expect, what you are, what you're not. Are you the expensive brand? Are you the cheap brand? Are you this or that? And expressing that, you know, expressing that, uh, owning that position, that marketing thing, so people know what to expect from you. But I see so many people that they're, they want to increase their sales. We'll see this in a restaurant or we'll see this in a food manufacturer. And it's, it's backwards, is that they will say, I need to increase my sales. I'm going to go hire more salespeople. And it's totally backwards. because the And this is what we were talking about. Greg and I were talking about this the other night. If you have a restaurant and you go, I need more. I, I gotta, I've got to sell more food. I know what to do. I'm going to hire more waitresses and have them standing in the, in the dining room. That does not bring anyone. Everyone here is laughing about it. But that's literally what you're doing. And so you've got to, you know, the first thing, you've got to market. You've got to let people know what you are, what you're not, what kind of food you have, what to expect, and a compelling reason to come see you. Yeah. And then, you know, once you do the marketing right, then the salespeople have something to, you know, they're, they're selling. Yeah. They have someone to sell. Yes. Or a car dealer. Yep. If they just hire more people to stand on the lot, there's not going to be one more car. Sure coming up and it's such a disruptive age right now in marketing to where there's so many innovative ways and it can be confusing i mean we offer marketing services for folks as well and we like to sit down and give them a consultation and that's exactly what we'll do but marketing uh in in a world of where traditional media became so true with print television radio you couldn't even get into the ball game now there's other options to where you can get in and market your position just what you said you need to delineate what your company is and 
what's cool is Masha is here with Chef Dane's Kitchen. She's going to come on in the 645 segment. Awesome. We're going to talk a little bit about how do you market this? How, how do you do that? How do you continually beat the drum? And what are some of the new innovative ways to be able to market your product to bring it to people? You've got to. And I tell you, these businesses that don't have a marketing budget built in somewhere on their on a line item. That's just crazy, there, it, it's, it is. It's crazy. Trust me, Pepsi-Cola <laughs> spends more on marketing per can than they do the sugar or the, or the, the water that it takes can. to make it. Well, I'll tell you one thing that from an owner's perspective that's the biggest challenge is staying on top of what you need to be doing for marketing because, yes. as you know, yes. business changes. The environment changes. Yeah. The way yep. people are buying. Are, yes. Yep. The, the way they are disseminating their information is always changing. And so I think you know that's, that's one thing as business owners that's tricky. Why I love being involved with you guys and the Modern Eater is just because of the fact that I really do feel like we t- we're able to touch a lot of people from just really a social networking place, from we're coming down here and showing people what good food is all about, right? What good spirits and distiller distilleries and breweries is all about, our food scene, what it means to be hyper-local. I thought because you were bored. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought you did. oh, you nailed it. How did you know that? How did you know? Jump off, jump into the little rich corner. I uh, got Chris over there. Uh, this is fantastic. We'll break away from Studio Kitchen Colorado, or tonight, I mean Chef Dane's Kitchen, because uh, that's what it is. Chef Dane's going to join us in the next segment. We'll break away right now. We'll come back in a flash. Little Rich is with Chef Christopher Moore from Metro, uh, Degree Metropolitan Food and Drink. So we'll break away now, come back in a flash, stay here, and listen to our sponsor's commercial on the Modern Eater Show on iHeartRadio. Thanks, Jared. Great first segment. The guy on the left, God, get him out of there. His voice is like a rake on a chalkboard, for God's sake. Wow. Get him away. Get him away. Wow. Hey, I've got my dear, my dear friend, Chris Moore. Chris Moore. How guys doing? He's, 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 what a dynamic chef. And also, so I, I, wanna talk, I want him to talk a little bit about what's happening at where you work. So Tell de- them where you work. So Degree Metropolitan Food and Drink. Yes. Uh, we're getting, we're at the Hospital Learning Center at Metropolitan State University. Now where is that? That's right, right across the street from Pepsi, Pepsi Center. Center. That cool looking and, building you drive by. And, and, and awesome. we get, we have parking, parking for Pepsi Center events and we're getting ready to change our, change our menu, uh, coming into the winter, winter menu and doing lots of fun, cool things. Globally inspired food. Colorado based, globally inspired food. Um, had, you and I had a great conversation about like getting away and allowing ourselves to get away. Yes. So let's get away. And I got away, went to Guatemala, had a great time, and energized, recharged, ready for 2020 because this is going to be a great year. It is now. This menu, this is going to be. This has got your DNA. This is in it this now. is oh, this is my second DNA menu. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you something. Get down to the Metropolitan. Taste Absolutely. what this guy makes. He's awesome. One Thank of the you. best in the state. Highly respected Cheers, in the whole brother. industry. Cheers. Love you. We'll be right back. Do you have the insurance you need? When we opened Studio Kitchen Colorado, home of the Modern Eater, we had no idea what insurance we needed. We didn't even know where to begin. Times like that, I turned to the experts. Our insurance expert, Brian Brenning with the Ewing Levitt Agency. Brian makes the coverage discovery process easy and seamless. Here's what you can expect from Brian and the team at Ewing Levitt. The absolute safest coverage, fair, low rates, quick response time, and honest, straightforward service. I've been in business 40 years. I trust Brian Brenning and Ewing Levitt. Agency. He's not just an insurance expert, he's my friend. Make him your friend and expert too by calling the Ewing Levitt Agency today, 970 679 7374. For the best and most reliable insurance coverage, that's 970 679 7374. It's the Ewing Levitt Agency. Hi, I'm Charlie Gottenkenny, brewmaster at Brews Beers, Denver's award winning Belgian style brewery. I am very pleased to tell you that our new tap room at Colfax and York in Congress Park is now open and it is a unique experience. It's close to great restaurants, has a big sunny patio for warmer days, will feature live music, and it has a very cool contemporary Belgian style bar and tap room. To celebrate our second location, we have 18 beers on tap, including several limited edition sour and barrel aged beers. For some holiday good cheer, Try our figgy pudding and our unique champagne beer, Brut Le Grand. Check it all out on our website, brewsbeers.com. That's brews, spelled B-R-U-Z, at 67th and Pecos, and now open in Congress Park at Colfax in York. 
Join us this week at either location for some serious Belgian-style badass. Hey, Colorado. This is Brian Freeman, owner of Growers Organic and a host on the Modern Eater Talk Show. Growers Organic is a Colorado sourcing company who provides Colorado's greatest chefs with the best organic produce. I've been partnering with local and regional farms for the last 20 years, and our returning customers know they can count on us over and over again. Chefs who receive the highest rating on Good Food 100 choose Growers Organic for their organic produce needs because we're experts at bridging the gap between the farm and the table. Join us in the organic revolution and go organic with Growers Organic. Look us up online at growersorganic.com. Wear black and eat spices. Hey, Modern Eater listeners, this is Zach from The Spice Guy, Colorado's favorite spice company. Spice is the variety of life. At The Spice Guy, we have a passion for sourcing the best ingredients from the best farmers all over the world. Choose from thousands of different GMO-free spices and ingredients, or let us create and blend custom flavor profiles for whatever style of food it is that you're working with. With over 1,000 restaurants, food brands, and chefs behind us, Second till the return. Wrong when you choose the Spice Guy for all your spice needs. The Spice Guy. Spicy. Born in Breck, raised in Denver. The Spice Guy Co.com. Hey, this is Brother Luck from Colorado Springs. All right, you ready? <laughs> Owner of Four My Brother Luck and Lucky Dumplings. I mean, he's, he's a very, very impressive man. <laughs> and you're rocking with the Modern Eater Show on iHeartRadio. Hey, welcome back to Studio Kitchen Colorado, or tonight, Chef Dane's Kitchen. I'm excited about what's treat? coming across here. Yeah, this he, looks good. He lugged over this uh, great cutting board from Elon, who brought it this weekend. A knife to yep. uh, Chef Dane Hyatt. Hey, hey how's it see? going, guys? Thank yeah. you for having me, Chef Dane's Kitchen. Yeah, yeah, that's Thanks cool. For, yeah, uh, thank you. A, take it over tonight. It's not. It's kind of not your, but you're used to that, right? Yeah, no, kinda, really, come, right? Come in, cook. Get sure. out. Talk about what you do. So, uh, yeah, we we do a, kind of a fine dining style catering. Uh, come into your home, do multi-course dinners, uh, bring everything, plates, silverware, glassware, and everything. and try to bring treat, the whole? Like the whole thing. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then kind of treat it like a restaurant, but in your home. So it's kind of like an added value, right? You don't have to leave your house. You can not you, wear shoes. Do you ever get somewhere and they've got an electric yeah. stove and yeah, you're yeah. like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. This is going to be a long night. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> so, yeah, we just kind of figure it out, yeah. So, most of the times we try to like vet the houses that we're going to, and and yeah. lucky for us, we're like all the homes are huge and gorgeous. Yeah, cause, so yeah, if you're laying down the money. Right? Yeah, exactly, I mean, exactly. So that. yeah. So how do you, you know, I know a few people is kind of like Chef Linda Hampton Fox. Uh-huh. She went this route for a long time. Oh yeah, and, I mean, well, she was like a personal it. chef for. Jane Goodall and people like that. I mean, yeah. So, did you I mean, do a little of that? That's kind of how we started. Yeah. We, I mean, I, I moved out from uh, from Vail. Uh, I was working for the Four Seasons for a while and and just kind of got burned out with that. And so I uh, kind of saw an uh, opportunity to move down to Denver and start like private chefing. I had like one client, but uh, I kind of just kind of believed in like the word of mouth, right? So yeah. Uh, and lucky, just like one person called me, another person called me, and and so we uh, were lucky enough to kind of get a bigger business and and uh, you know we were able to hire you know. Um, Hannah here, and we have a couple other people that we hired here, and uh, kind of built it into a business, and it's it's pretty fun. Do you find yourself all over right. Denver? Or is there specific neighborhoods that you keep? Um, we, yeah. tra- I mean, we definitely like kind of attract like the Cherry Creek, kind of Greenwood Village, um, gotcha. Cherry Hills, uh, but we go everywhere, man. We, a lot you of know, referral too, I would it, imagine. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we were talking marketing a little bit. Uh, we do a little bit of marketing, Instagram, obviously. Uh, but I think the biggest marketing tool is just word of mouth, and I that's kind of what drives so, our yeah. business. And, and we try to kind of keep some sense of exclusivity, and and um, people just kind of keep passing us along. It's great. Yeah, get a sweet lady in Cherry Creek posted on next door. Yeah, saying right? something about like, it. I mean, yeah. boom. Yeah. Perfect. So and it just it just keeps going, and and every year, uh, you know, this is our third year now, and. You know, we're obviously doing better than the last year, and it just kind of keeps progressing. And it's yeah, you got to be crazy around the holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. December we did. I think we had like twenty five events. Wow. Yeah. So almost every day of the week. Yeah, but and even though I'm sure the sum were stacked up over the weekend. Yeah, and but. like Hannah had one event of a hundred, and I had another event of a hundred, and we wow. just kind of broke up, found as many servers as we could, and yeah, um, yeah. So we're gonna dig in, Chef Dane's Kitchen. Chef Dane here with us right now. Also, Hannah's gonna come on, and Mosh is gonna come on as well. Talk to marketing thing. yeah yeah talking about business that entrepreneurial spirit was in you obviously yeah yeah my dad owns his own business kind of saw him how he did it and kind of grew and um I, you know i i, I honestly I was just kind of sick of like you know in that corporate world I get it, yeah. yeah and uh kind of want to work for myself and just kind of see what happens yeah and at this point you're unemployable 
Yeah, just right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's how I feel about myself, but it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it was probably like you said, you had that one client. That one client, you were probably like, well, can I make my car payment with this? Yeah. You yeah. Know? It was. You're thinking bare bones. Yeah. And I'll add on to that, which you obviously did. Yeah. Add on from there. Absolutely. And I'm looking at the website, but by the way, Chef Dane, Chef Dane's Kitchen dot com. Yeah. Very easily. Yeah. You yeah. go on the w- website, you've got the menus laid out. You've pretty much done the work. And, yeah. And that's what a lot of people do. The number one valuable thing that people are buying these days do you know what it is time time Time. yeah Uh, well we're Uber. we're in a a time industry yeah or or we're in a time lifestyle these days where time is a commodity yeah and uh and quality yep as well so yeah is there a cuisine you gravitate towards um i think that's kind of like the beauty of catering is like we kind of um can do most cuisines i think I, i can't really do indian food that's kind of like the that's only, your limiting that's like factor, the, yeah, yeah but i do like i have a fair amount of like asian touches in 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 our dishes that we do italian obviously we we're going to do some tortellini here um but yeah we kind of gravitate more it's towards asian stuff asian style food oh really um what's but, your uh, favorite dish to make uh we do a uh a, a ta- a steak tartare that we do uh but it's like thai style so like larb have you i'm definitely not pronouncing that right but uh it's kind of a, it's like a fish sauce soy lime mint and cilantro uh we do a steak tartare out of that and do like a puffed rice cracker instead of a piece of bread, um, and yeah, it's an it's an awesome dish. It's kind so, of unique. Do you stay within the lane of what you, or do people dream something up and say, "Chef, I would really like if you do my grandma's well, dish"? Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but like you said, like some of the menu items uh, or our website, we have pretty much like turnkey menus right. that you can pick from. Yeah. Um, and then if if someone's like, "Well, I kind of want like a." I don't know, lobster risotto or something. Yeah, we can absolutely do that. And I think that's kind of like the beauty of catering. It's like yeah. we kind of do whatever the client wants, and then we kind of put our fine dining kind of restaurant-style touches on it. So, all right. Yeah. So, rest- first of all, people are so – Jay, convince him that he doesn't like people. Uh, well, I, I just want to hear a story. <laughs> of, he went over to somebody's house, and he thought everything's yeah. normal. Next thing you know, he's not cooking it right. You yeah. know, for the lady that paid yeah, him to come yeah. over and cook. And it's like, listen, I know how to cook chicken parmesan, chef. And I'm telling you right now, you're not cooking it right. That's my mom. You, you know, don't, you don't yeah. let her. Yeah. You know. And then, Can't you know, her. then it's yeah. like, that's where I go. I'm like, okay, well, watch how quick I pack up all this stuff, you know, and and, and, and scream yeah. something at you on my way so, out the so, door. And so here was uh, the point that I was going to try and make is that it's hard enough to be a restaurant chef to when you have your customers come in. And obviously, there are folks that are ordering off the menu. Yeah, food sensitivities, allergies, uh, just things that people don't want to have. Yeah. Picky, picky uh, eaters within their menu. So that's just a restaurant, right? Which yeah. you can say, all right, this is what I provide you. When I eat that, fine. Yeah. Well, how do you deal with just everybody's little nuances of what they can't just to cook to taste? Yeah, I mean, because you know, you're we, in their house at that point to where they're putting the salt on usually. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, we've had. Um, We've been very fortunate that we haven't had, like, a big blow-up of someone that says, like, oh, I hate this, you know. Um, obviously, people are, are specific in their dietary restrictions. And so are you asking nut allergies? Yeah, so, like, yeah, when, when we, when we like, first talk to the client, we're like, all right, any allergies we need to know of? Uh, you know, I, we have a dinner tomorrow night for 30 people, and I think uh, it's all gluten-free. So we're doing a four-course dinner of all gluten-free items, which is easy. Uh, but we just kind of play it around and, and, and figure it out. And, um, yeah, it, work, it works for them. But, yeah, we do kind of let them know, like, hey, like, what, you know, it, any dietary restrictions, anything we need to know about, and then we go from there. What's the, how are we on time? Two minutes? I probably, yeah, I'm going to set this question up. Right, we'll cool. break, and then yeah, we're yeah. going to do some demo type cool, cool, stuff. Cool. Make sure you hit Facebook or the themoderneater.com during the break if you're not watching right now because this will be cool. Chef Dane's going to um, – we're going to roll some tortellini together. Yeah. Um, here's the question. You just talked about a gluten-free dinner tomorrow night. Certain products that you source. Yeah. Sourcing important to you? Don't. Okay. We're going to come back. Sourcing is one of those things to where it's like uh, you get it down and you're buying certain ingredients and you know what you want on your menu. But how do you not only do you, do you broaden your horizons or do you want to or do you continue to work with the same people that have gotten you there yeah well and we'll have a test on these microgreens to see if greg can call those out from across the table can greg hollenbeck do it (laughs) maybe we'll see okay let's break away right now chef dane hyatt here with us and uh it's cool the whole cast and crew masha what do you think you like the show Thumbs up. I like That's it. good. I like right. it. Perfect. Hey, and a, and a big shout out to all the people listening. Yeah, go ahead. I really want to thank all of our viewers and listeners that come in every 
Saturday night to hear what we have to say. Check out all our awesome guests that come down to the studio kitchen. So a big shout out to all the chefs, all the entrepreneurs and purveyors that come down to the Modern Eater and all those people out there listening. Thank cool you. Stuff. Yeah, no doubt. 6.30 on 6.30 KHOW. Breakaway right now from Studio Kitchen Colorado or tonight, Chef Dane's Kitchen right here. Off to the Little Ridge Corner on the Modern Eater Show on iHeartRadio. Thank you, Greg. That's a great segment. Look what I got here. I've got some Balmer Peak Distillery gin. And Balmer Peak's pretty cool. Green Mountain, that's where I'm from. That's right. So, I mean, tell us what's 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 special about this gin. So this gin is actually um, a little different. It's Australian inspired. Um, so we use botanicals and flavors that are native to Australia. So eucalyptus, pepperberry, lemon myrtle, finger limes. Trying to be a little more unique. And we, I know we're going to have some great cocktails over on the on the corner. Yeah, there's going to be some really tasty drinks. So how long has Balmer Peak Distillery been around? Uh, we've been open for just over two months. We opened in November of, of last year. Wow. Wow. Hey, so where are you located? Uh, we're I know where, but where? you tell <laughs> Alameda and Xenon. Uh, so it, you go up to Alameda, past Union, hang a left about the second light, past Union. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, we're on the right-hand side there, right up in the, nestled in the foothills of, the, of Green Mountain. Yeah, see, you guys have it all cleared out. We were, when I, I was, I'm so old, we were cleaning the dinosaurs out of there when we, <laughs> to make it ready. Watch this. This is going to be a good segment coming up. Hey, we've got a couple words from our sponsors coming up. The Goods. Oh, love me, love me, Mark. Ardent Mills Flour, Fourth, and Aspen Baking. Ah, uh, see, I'm the one. Who but I also want to eat where I know my money is going to a local restaurant that I believe in. I believe in the Goods Restaurant on Colfax and Mark Whistler. The Goods is a community restaurant and bar with a menu focusing on vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, and keto options. Comfort food lovers, try the best burger on planet Earth. I love it. Eight ounces of grass-fed beef and never, ever any hormones antibiotics or steroids the goods is truly a cultural melting pot a family restaurant open to all their bar program is amazing saddle up at their long luxurious bar have a nice craft beer or a cocktail like their facebook page and stay up on amazing events and specials going on throughout the week located on east colfax directly connected to the tattered cover bookstore across from east high school with free parking and a garage in back look them up online thegoodsrestaurant.com I'll see you at the goods. Want to bake the best? Bake with the best. Little Rich here from Rockalitas Tortillas and the Modern Eater. Our wraps fold cold and don't break open, yet they're soft and delicious. What's my secret? Ardent Mills. Organic, ancient, and heirloom grains like quinoa, spelt, and more. Locally headquartered in Denver, Colorado, Ardent Mills provides the industry's broadest range of traditional and organic flours, whole grains, customized blends, and specialty products dedicated to providing the culinary industry with the next grains and unique plant-based ingredients. I love Ardent Mills, and I know you will too. To bake the best, you must use the best. Learn more at ardentmills.com. Taxes, payroll, and workman's comp? Ugh. If you're a business owner, I bet hearing me say those dirty words made you cringe. Hi, I'm Rebecca Berry with Forth, and I know growing and managing a business can seem overwhelming and just daunting at times. But at Forth, we've got you covered. Forth knows you want to take your business to the next level. 30 seconds till I read. What you need and will allow you to free up your time and resources to do what you do best, grow and manage your business. Call me. Let's talk about how I can help. 720-436-8047. That's 720 720- 436-8047, Rebecca with Forth. Hey, brewery and restaurant owners, listen up. 10 seconds till I read. 8% on your natural gas bill? Of course you do. Saving money is making money. Your savings is just a phone call away. Call Brian Rizzuto now, 720-245-5771. 720-245-5771. We're coming back. Core Energy. <laughs> Q- related to the C- appliance company at all. Back to the show in just a second, you guys. But before we do that, I want to talk to you about Aspen Baking Company. Delicious local bread, fresh, daily. No uh, preservatives, no artificial coloring, no chemicals in any of that stuff. And it's AspenBaking.com. Whether you're into hoagies, focaccias, ciabattas, baguettes, croissants, bear claws, lobster rolls, pound cakes, coffee cakes. I like a, a focaccia sandwich with a little bit of rosemary they put in there, some sliced turkey, some white onions, a little bit of oregano, a little bit of olive oil. That's what I do. But you do what you want to do, but wherever you do it, you do it at AspenBaking.com. They do catering also with some delicious Rome sausage in there. So we're going to do the website one more time, and then it's back to the show with Chef Dane's Kitchen. It's AspenBaking.com. Hi, Michael Myers from Distillery 291. I'll say whatever you want me to say. <laughs> That'll get me in trouble. 
Ride it like you stole it, drink it like you own it. You're listening to The Modern Eater on iHeartRadio. Hey, welcome back to the show, The Modern Eater Show on iHeartRadio. From Studio Kitchen, Colorado, or tonight, it's Chef Dane's Kitchen. <laughs> Why not? Chef Dane Hyatt here with us, yep. and Masha Kenmore with a K. Hi. Good to see you. You know I was going to do that, <laughs> didn't you? Love it. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they've turned into friends. Yeah. I mean, instantly. Here yeah. we are in the kitchen, uh, just chopping it up. We're going to have to, bo- you know, Brian, ever have a dinner party up in Evergreen, your fancy house? Yes. We're the people. Yeah, I we, know. We, I we, I want to get it catered. Trust me, because I usually find myself in the kitchen the whole time, that's, and I can't mingle, even yeah. though people keep coming to me to yeah. say hi. But uh, Chef Dane's yeah. Kitchen dot com. I know. There now I have goes, a new outlet yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. we come to Evergreen. We'll go. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Best way to get a hold of you guys, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Instagram too at Chef Dane's Kitchen, and uh, you better have some good pictures up there. Uh, yeah, we try. Yeah, we we put some stuff up. I'm t- I I got to get better at social media, but Hannah takes some awesome photos and and uh, Mosh as well. So and they, all they price ranges, it. right? Yeah, you can, yeah. You can I mean, service we're, everyone. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. We're kind of like you know more or less on the higher end. Uh, we're basically like a little more expensive than a restaurant, but again, we bring it to your home. Um, so there's just uh, more of an Added value so you're there. not going to do like company. The guys retire and he gets the watch in the taco bar. You, you want yeah, we try to stay away from the taco bar. That's just like my enemy right there. That and like the slider station or something. Yeah, so, so. he knows what he wants to do. Yeah. 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 Well, do people ever ask you to cook extra? So you're there yeah, yeah. making catering, and I, I'm like, oh, what about? Tomorrow night yeah. and the next night. No, we, we definitely have a client uh, that we, we do a lot of dinners for, and then he's just like, hey, man, can you just always make some extra for us for, for the next day? And Because uh, they travel a bunch, so they'll bring it on the airplane or whatever. And, and yeah, so. Oh, nice. man, I just want to know people like that. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. We're going to do some demo type yeah. stuff Yeah, we're going to show you to roll some tortellini. I told you my lobster tor- tortellini. Yeah. Deal. I like to make the lobster tortellini. It just, like you said, turns into starch soup. With the beautiful <laughs> lobster, and, and then I get so defeated. Yeah. I give it. It's like I'm. Am I not pinching it well enough? You gotta, it's all about that seal, right? It's all. Yeah, it's yeah. gotta be. It's, but it's, it's, okay, are you sealing with a fork? Your fingers? No. So you got a little egg wash here. I was um, just gonna ask. Yeah, you, you egg gotta wash. Have the wash. Gotta right? have the egg wash. Yeah, yeah. And then you just. You, so we have these. Um, these little yeah, you know, rounds here. What yeah. So do here. we have this. Um, obviously, make sure you have some flour here, right? Um, and then uh, whatever you mix it, so lobster, whatever. Yeah. So this is just some uh, homemade uh, ricotta, garlic, uh, parsley, lemon, zest, and some salt and pepper. Right? I got to see the ratio. Maybe I'm putting too much in. Yeah. Well, I Maybe mean, I'm getting over ambitious. You just got to do true. like about that much, right? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Nothing too. Yeah. Nothing. So then so just far. it's just a beat, uh, an egg, uh, beat with some water. Yep. Right. And how are you making your pasta, chef? Uh, so there's a hundred different recipes, right? Sure. So uh, this recipe is um, about two cups of flour, six egg yolks, one egg, um, olive oil, and then I use either cream, milk. I like using goat's milk; kind of gives it nice, kind of you know, uh, grass kind of flavor, kind of herb flavor. Um, and um, yeah, and that's it. And just kind of mix it up until it forms a, a ball. Let it sit for a half hour, and then have at it. Have at it. Yeah. Any kind of flour. Uh, I use AP flour, yeah. I okay, mean, just semolina flour, flour okay. yeah. So, like for stuffing pasta, uh, AP flour works great. Uh, and then if you're using a pasta extruder, it's a, you know, semolina flour, uh, and then it's basically just water and, and yeah. Our listeners are at home are probably killing us, but as you're doing it, oh, yeah, talk yeah. about ingredients yeah. because I set up before the break. Yeah. I said, so, yeah, talk absolutely. Talk about where you're getting stuff. So we, we try to get as much local as possible. Yeah. Obviously, since we're not a restaurant, we don't have to keep a giant inventory. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we do rely on Whole Foods or local markets that we can grab probably stuff from. Probably a lot. A lot. Yeah, yeah, a good amount. Uh, you know, we try to pick up stuff from Rebel Farms as much as we can. From uh, I'm up in the Highlands, so we try to do a Highlands Farmer's Market. And as much as we can, We you know, we'll, we'll definitely definitely go local uh but obviously sometimes you have to so yeah. we got a guy that owns an organic produce company perfect there we go and, and oh there we go organic. let's do it well, yeah and we'll uh, have to hook up yeah Maybe let me know yeah, grocery yeah, shopping yeah, 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 yeah yeah i would yeah. think that from a marketing standpoint some of that cool sourcing stuff would yeah. maybe be of a benefit to have a, a, a pig purveyor or a, 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 a rancher that's yeah. giving you great yeah. cattle and and to be able to list it by name that that and put their stories behind it too. yeah we we had a wagyu company that we were working with they're out of iowa though uh cow k-o-w great stuff great product 
product, uh, Wagyu company. It's it's amazing. We'd stuff. like to net- actually. Yeah. We should network more. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Kind of I think that'd be cool, and I think we could do some dinners in here. Yeah, that'd be yeah. that'd be rad. Yeah, we yeah. do a summer dinner series. Oh, okay. In the in the kitchen here, and we. So what we yeah, do? That in, could be really cool. Yeah, in, yeah. we should get in. Yeah, yeah talk yeah, about right that. on. I'm glad you came on tonight. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, in June we go on a 10 day road trip, and and every year Brian, me, and Jay we go and we travel the state and we go collect ingredients. Yeah, yeah we visit these farmers, ranchers, Sweet. distillers, brewers. Cool yeah. And then we have top chefs here in town, like Keegan Gerhardt, Kerry Bear, Justin Brunson, Brother yeah. Luck. They all come back. And, and one Tuesday throughout the summer, they get their chance to come in here into the kitchens. And we have the farmers on the TVs, and they're talking to the people eating. And oh, it that's rad. Yeah. turns into just a real cool community type of thing. I yeah, think that's that right. That's awesome. Be, Yep. Right up your alley to, Let me know. to do something like yeah. that. As I digress. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to learn more. Yeah, so, yeah, so filling that, about that much, right? So it's just making a half moon as best you can. Uh, your problem might be is, like, you want to make sure all the air is kind of pushed out of it because if you leave some in there, you throw it in the water, it will just kind of burst. I think I'm overstuffing this. Yeah, you might be. Hand. So, yeah, just try to seal as best you can, right? And then it's just, I, I don't know, it's quick motion. Just kind of roll it around your finger, kind of pinch it tight. Yeah. So you don't get down with the fork, huh? As you I go mean, around that thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not really. And then you, I, I mean, like I don't know. You just kind of okay. Yeah. Talk to me about your water. It should get, it should be at a rumble, Boiling. right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. So we have it boiling. Um, Hannah's got it going over there. Um, so it's boiling with a little salt, um, and that's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah. So, so should it just be at a slow rumble or no, like a full full boil? Full yeah, boil. yeah, yeah. Because the temperature does change once you put your Absolutely. ingredients yeah. in there. As so well. we, I've actually had a dinner where we've we've done that where we've thrown like I don't know, forty pieces in there that have been frozen, and it cools down the water, and so it just kind of it doesn't make the 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 tortellini as you know uh, the texture is as good as it can be. So uh, you definitely want to make sure it's a rolling roaring boil, uh, a little salt, and that's it. Let go. How yeah. long? How long would you? Uh, so with a fresh pasta, it doesn't take as long as obviously with the dried. Um, so it's about until they float. So it's probably like four to five minutes. And will they stick? Do you stir it? Yeah, you kind of want to shake the pot a little bit, or just kind of stir it, um, you know, lightly because you don't want to like break them. So you just kind of keep kind of stirring a little bit, shake the water a little bit, and kind of go from there. Okay. And what happens if you do get an uh oh in there? Uh, do you just pluck it out as you just pluck as it you out as, as yeah as best you can, right? Don't let it sit there. And there, I got this dished up for you yeah, here. That's, All right. Come on, throw me some. There we go. Let me get down. On get it. some flour there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, you want one? I, sure. Yeah, let's I do it. Let's do it. Let's do this. Put yeah. that down for me, but yeah. here, but it's pretty much done, right? I'm yeah. Just well, gonna flip this thing over. So make yeah half moon. There's that. There's a little. uh there you go. Get that air out of there. So right here from the inside. Yeah, yeah. First. And just kind of push out. I, yep. I put. I leave a little Eisenhower tunnel right there first, man. <laughs> yeah. To get that right in the middle. Out. Yeah. Oh, oh. See now, what happens that's, when you get a little that's juice fine. that comes that's fine. out of there? Just, it's not going to get. Yeah. Out. It's not. It's been, as long as it's sealed, right? It's fine. Uh, a little egg wash on top. Yep. 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 Crank these out. That, now this, you, you can't really. If done right, you can't go wrong. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fresh pasta. What, what's your favorite uh, ingredients to stuff inside of there? I love just simple ricotta. Hannah's going to make us a dish real quick. Um, but yeah, so simple ricotta uh, that we that we house make. Um, you can really stuff it with whatever you want. And then um, what about sauce? So for this one, we're going to do is just a, a sweet corn pudding. We take corn, uh, fresh corn that we can get, shallots, garlic, cook it down with some um, some heavy cream, uh, blend that up, salt and pepper. Let's see it. Yeah, that's good, dude. And then just, yeah, just kind of push it down a little bit because you want to make sure it's, yeah. I got some air in there, man. <laughs> hey, I've, I mean, I've seen worse. That's that's pretty damn good. You guys are hired. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll talk, we'll talk about it while you guys do. That's, not, that's good. That's, that's a, good. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. baby boy right there. Yeah, right? And so we just kind of try to push it down a little bit so it's flat on the, on the uh, bottom end that you can kind of stand up. How many of those do you want to cook at a time? Uh, in one single yeah, pot, like, I don't know, probably like 20, 25. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what then, about uh, a good white sauce, just from white, scratch? Yeah, white sauce. I mean, like an Alfredo or whatever. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's pretty much what Green. this is, just, my, you know, minus with some corn in Wine. there. Yeah, so what we did here is, um, so it's the same thing, oh, some tortellini, right? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then uh, we took some uh, prosciutto that we just kind of crisp up and kind of treat that as, like, the salt of it. 
<laughs> right? Oh, that's another good. And wait, here's 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 your moment. Can you guess what those are right there? He, I'll, I'll tell oh, you, yeah, those yeah. are microgreens. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? What is what? Oh, this this one right here. This is a cucumber one. <laughs> no, probably yeah, onion, where but you know. <laughs> where, dang it, brother! You didn't yeah. set me up uh, right. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was, that onion. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. we go there with that. Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I could have taken. What what is this right here? Come on now. Come on, red something, right? Red something. <laughs> <laughs> like how you like how the produce yeah. guy shows <laughs> off. Like, right. like, come on, you can do this one, little child. You can guess what this vegetable is. <laughs> It's like, I mean, I don't walk around a, a, a vegetable uh, warehouse every day, all right? You don't have to patch Microgreens, why we have them out. Yeah, yeah. About. So uh, there's, I mean, I guess there's a bunch of microgreens companies coming There really up, right? are. Wow. Um, one, kind of a joke I heard, it's like anyone that fails at the the weed business yeah, or whatever. Like a microgreen. Starts, yeah, starts growing uh, microgreens. I don't know. I don't, I, don't know if, I, I don't know. Like I said, that might be a joke or what. But, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Um, so there is a lot of microgreen companies coming out. These are uh, plants naturally. Um, Shane over there, he, uh, him and his wife are, uh, own the, own the company and, uh, we just started working with them. They're great. Come deliver it. So they have some great stuff. So this is, yeah, radish that we use and this is some, uh, micro onion. Um, so just kind of finish that up, right? A little radish. That looks so good. I like how you're you're liberal with that. Yeah, I like right? the, the micros because some people, you know, they'll put one or two on there and it's, I, you don't want to like, like, kind of like overpower. Like people just, I don't know. People just like throw micros on there, you know. But um, I like you know. what you did. We were talking about how hungry we were coming out of the last break. Generally, we don't eat on the show. Just get, we're gonna eat. We're oh yes, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, right. Another thing coming on. Right, what too. we need. And yeah. but here's the thing. And more and more these days, it's terrible. It just shows my age, man. Dessert. <laughs> you can't, and you know, it, yeah. you have to, and you guys right. do that well too. Uh, yeah, right. So, I'm excited for that because yeah. Hannah, she was at the Broadmoor, right? So she, she was a big deal. Yeah, she from was down the, there. Was she, she was with John Johnstone. John John. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where were you? Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, she was. Uh, she was down there, and then um, like, kind of like Ma- like Masha found us on Instagram. She came to some of our pop up dinners that we were doing. Mm-hmm. Hannah, kind of same thing. She found us on Instagram kind of hit us up and uh have her came come to a dinner that we did uh and she's been here ever since so and she's just like she like she's like yeah i kind of do pastry it's like you do amazing pastries so yeah so, so jay was right you are like the pied piper is yeah, that what it is yeah. <laughs> Hannah's gonna come on the show next yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as well yeah we're gonna line up here we're gonna yeah. eat this during the yeah, break yeah. this is fantastic so dessert's gonna come up next here yep. also i want to talk about uh, yeah yeah it's probably terrible, but do people want you to cook with them too? Will you do that or no? Yeah, I mean, like every household, like kitchen's kind of like the focal point, right? So like anytime we're doing a dinner, there's people always in the kitchen. Oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah, so people are always kind of like, what's going you on? You kind of have to embrace going with it, right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. you signed up for it. Exactly. Kind of so and, and we both, we all love kind of talking to people and kind of walking them yeah. through what we're doing. And uh, we do do cooking classes as well, so that's kind of like a whole other point of that. And so, yeah. We'll talk about that. Yeah, I love more. it. This is great. I Chef love Dane's it. Kitchen this is a great us. show. Uh, Chef Dane Hyatt will yeah. continue right here from Chef Dane's Kitchen, otherwise known as Studio Kitchen Colorado, on the Modern Eater Show on iHeartRadio. Hoo-wee! Look at, look at, here. we got a tasty beverage right here for my friend Zach from Cellar West Artisan Ales. That's right. So he's going to be on later, so you, just to give you a little taste of what's coming up, what would you bring tonight, Zach? Uh, we brought one of our saisons. It's called Feed Your Head. Uh, uh-huh. Big, strong, 9% beer, dry hop with American hops, but uh, definitely Belgian influence. So Awesome. Now, you shared a little something with me that you've got, like, your secret ingredient. Can you tell us a little bit? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's native to the air in Boulder. That's that's what I'll tell you right now. We'll uh, we'll talk more about it later, though. Maybe, maybe Greg and, and Brian can get a little more out of you on the table later. We'll see. We'll now, see. how long have you been around? Uh, so we opened uh, early 2017 in Boulder. Um, nice. We're currently in Lafayette. We were in Boulder for about two years, and we've uh, we moved to Lafayette about a year ago to a bigger location. So awesome! So you're growing. You're making great products. We're going to tell our viewers more about these great products and enjoy some of them right here while we're here. Yeah. This is going to be a fun show. Good, great segment coming up. Stick around. You're going to want to hear what Zach's got to tell you. And also stick around. we got some words coming from Gluten-Free Things, my friend John, Colorado Mills, Element Knife, and Proud Souls. 
We'll be back. ...to gluten, or maybe you're a gluten-free lifestyler. Is your menu limited because you've eliminated gluten from your diet? Are you missing the taste of foods that traditionally contain gluten? What if I told you that you can add breads, pizzas, muffins, cakes, cookies, waffles, croissants, English muffins, the list goes on right back to your menu. Gluten-Free Things is a local gluten-free and vegan bakery that reintroduces you to the foods you love. Owner John Irvin believes gluten-free shouldn't taste like the box that it's packaged in. Trust me when I tell you the products from his bakery in Arvada are fresh, flavorful, and masterly crafted, leaving you with a product that tastes like the real thing. Simply delicious. The bakery is located in Arvada on 64th and Sims across the street from Arvada West High School. Check out their website at glutenfreethings.com. You'll be amazed with the variety of gluten-free products they make. And chefs, don't leave your gluten-free restaurant guests without options. Contact John at info at glutenfreethings.com. That's info at glutenfreethings.com to see what he can do for you. Give him a shot. 11651 West 64th Avenue in Arvada. It's gluten free things. Hey, chef friends, it's Little Rich here from Rockalitas Tortillas. Rockalitas, known for hyper local, innovative, and healthy tortillas and chips, served by Colorado's top chefs, and that's why we only use Colorado Mills sunflower oil. If you too want to serve the healthiest, most vibrant tasting foods, you must use Colorado Mills. Colorado Mills is hyper local, Colorado grown. Cold Press in Lamar, Colorado. Whether you bake, fry, or saute, get your Colorado Mills today. Available through Shamrock, Growers Organic, and Don Foods. For the best oil in the business, use Colorado Mills. Hey, it's Chef Elon Wenzel, owner of Element Knife Company. If you cook, then you'll know the importance of a quality knife and proper care. My training in Japan exposed me to exceptional cutlery. That's why I am so excited to offer you the knives I fell in love with. Element Knife Company is chef-driven, and my goal is to support and educate. Get at me for a knife clinic or conversation. Find me at elementknife.com or by simply calling 303-460-460. 4628. For the best knives in your kitchen, think Element Knife Company. Listen up, barbecue lovers. Greg Holland back here for Proud Souls Barbecue and Provisions. Proud Souls is Denver's authority of all things barbecue. Do you rule your neighborhood with the best backyard barbecue? From beginners to pit masters, Proud Souls has all the equipment you could possibly want. A variety of wood, pellet, and charcoal grills and smokers. Award-winning pit masters and owners of Proud Souls, Dan and Tony, have a passion for barbecue, and it shows. Located on 25th and Federal, Proud Souls Retail Store is bursting at the seams with your barbecuing essentials, the Spice Guy spices, and superior flavored fuels for your pit like hickory, mesquite, oak, pecan, cherry, apple, peach, maple, grape, and a variety of blends. Hit their website, ProudSoulsBBQ.com, for delicious hands-on barbecue classes and get information on current promotions and deals. For the best in barbecue, locally owned and operated on 25th and Federal, there are guys. Proud Souls Barbecue and Provisions. That's ProudSoulsBBQ.com. We're coming back. Feed me now! This is the Modern Eater Show. That's right, boy! I'm starving! And now it's time for In the Kitchen. How am I supposed to keep on feeding you? Kill people? Rock you by. Proud Souls Barbecue and Provisions, award-winning competition cooks and purveyors of specialty barbecue supplies right here in Denver, Colorado. ProudSoulsBBQ.com. Feed me all night long. Dan's Kitchen in the house. It's uh, Chef Dan's Kitchen in Studio Kitchen, Colorado tonight. As we continue on the Modern Eater Show, Chef Dan Hyatt. I have to tell you, Chef Dane, that um, this is probably some of the best food that's come through Studio Kitchen, and that comes with some big clout. Mm-hmm. It truly yeah. does. Yeah. I, I think Jay's going to get his microphone set there. We wanted to turn your mic off there, so it just sounded real humble. Yeah. You yeah. know, didn't, yeah. <laughs> didn't even respond. Just dropped the mic and went out of here. Truly great, great food. Uh, Hannah, you're joining us. Yes. Chef Thanks Hannah. Good to see you. Oh, absolutely. Um, Hannah Johnson with a J. With a J. Wait, what did we have before? Like Johnson? We cho- well, totally. listen, in my defense, uh, I'm not to throw Masha under the bus or anything, but I just copy and pasted the email she sent me with their names. It kind of came out without an H. No, wow, no you big did deal. Throw her <laughs> no under big the deal. Bus. That's no good. My day started out real bad today, Masha. It's got nothing to do with you. I had honey explode on sure? my pants. It's a long story. I really did. That's for Sounds Snapchat. Jay, this is, kids are listening, man. Man, no, don't be talking about that. No, I mean, the few minutes left. We do yeah. want to show some things off. 
yep. here. And uh, also we talked about dessert. I mean, when it comes to dessert, you got to cap off a great meal with a nice dessert. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think, Hannah? Yes, so this is our miso chocolate mousse. It's it's still very elegant, but it's also very simple to make mm-hmm. for us. So um, we really enjoy it. It's a feature on a lot of our menus. Uh, so Hannah's just a little thing. If you're watching, I know, but her, she has a big well, voice. I, I, I would uh, listening so, to her voice just there. That so my yes. As I finish my thought, get on Facebook. Sorry, no. <laughs> what I was going to say is, I wish I could ruin your body. I wish I could just take it and put like fifty pounds on it, because I would. I would just go and eat all of this great oh, stuff, right. Hannah. You yeah. could do that. Doesn't look like you've eaten any of this. I know. I promise, I do. <laughs> yeah. You do. Yes. What are you going to assemble for us? So today we have our miso chocolate mousse. Okay. Um, so I did a little little bit of it in the background, but, you know, we mm-hmm. whip our cream, we make our anglaise, we pour it over our, our dark chocolate. Uh, we add our miso. Well, you used red miso today. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and plate up. doesn't have to be perfect, just, you know, something. Oh, no, it, it has to be perfect. has to be it perfect. Has to be perfect. <laughs> Anna is a perfection. When you lead with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, has, she to has, to, it so, has to be perfect. I know, you know. And Hannah, you said you use a dry, a dry dip. miso. Uh, red. red oh, miso. red miso. Red okay, miso, yeah. mm-hmm. red miso. You can use white as well, but we just had red today, so that's what we went with. Yeah. Is this one serving? One serving. Yes. It's mousse. So. It's, it's fine. Yeah, it's, fine. Yeah. it's got a lot of air. Yeah. It's got, yeah, a lot um, of- and then we also made a sesame wheel to accompany it. It's gluten free. Okay. We made it with gluten free flour. So, yeah. nice. Bob's mill. Yeah. Yeah. Tapioca pudding. Yep. And then we can so, just kinda, yeah, sesame you know, and miso, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. work well. Kinda wherever. This, is this practice for tomorrow night's gluten-free dinner, Hannah? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do we, yeah, I can't remember the dessert we have for tomorrow. Uh, deconstructed cobbler. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, and then maybe just a little bit How fun of is that? chocolate. Give yeah. the address yeah. where you'll be tomorrow night. We'll all show up. <laughs> <laughs> think of that. Somewhere at Cherry Hills, I think, Masha. Yeah. 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 But what we should give is your email address which is chef i think you just want to go to the website right website uh, website yeah, sorry or, sorry yeah, so yeah it's either uh either one of our names so hannah mm-hmm. at chef dane's kitchen just do the yeah. website yeah www yeah i i do that yeah chef dane's kitchen just do that chef dane's. or hit us chef up on dane's instagram kitchen. perfect yeah. yep which has yeah that does happen oh. so all right you guys we got the whole team here yeah with one minute left we always give two do it by three how do you do the one minute elevator of give us a shot give us a try what? <laughs> so we just, yeah, what? <laughs> Our elevator pitch? Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, oh, okay. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're a fine dining catering company here in Denver, and, and we want to compete with restaurants in Denver, mm-hmm. some of the best restaurants in Denver, and bring it to your home. Bring everything you need, pots, pans, plates, everything. Modern Eater approved. I'm going to just go ahead and say that right now. This food is incredible, If it's anything like they did for us here tonight and and how they conduct themselves, the professionalism, um, just all-encompass. It's the whole thing. It's just a plug-and-play package. You go to ChefDanesKitchen.com, and uh, you get these three. Yep. Mm-hmm. Coming to your house. Do you do dishes? Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Had to ask. All right. We've got to. Thank you, guys. Yes, thank, yes, you. thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Great. I mean, let's hear yeah. it for that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. awesome. They, they were thank fantastic. You. All right. Let, let's have some drinks, right? We've got beer, a couple of Belgian-style beer companies. Uh, Charlie Gottenkinney's in the Little Ridge Corner. Can't wait to see what ha- he has to say. And then a distillery. Do you yes. know the name? I do know. It's Balmer Peak. Distilling. Catch up with them in the next hour. Continuing right here from Studio Kitchen, Colorado, the Modern Eater Show. Welcome to the Modern Woo!